Thursday was kind of quiet with only one game in the metro area. Our Lawrence Gilligan has that game and has gone over it with a fine-tooth comb. Right, Lawrence? That's right. Thanks, fan. I even know how much fluid the water boy had in his bucket. Just kidding. The game was between the Albuquerque Bulldogs and the Del Norte Knights. <laughs> The Del Norte Knights jumped on the Bulldogs early with a 14-0 lead, and that's when Albuquerque High got things going. On fourth and two, Drew Barnwell gets the call to get the first, and Barnwell breaks off a 15-yard run down to the 27. First and 10 for the Bulldogs on the 27, and Elijah Warren gets the carry to the right side, and look out. Warren fighting to get to the end zone and does, putting the Bulldogs on the board. It's 14-7 Knights. The Bulldogs squander a scoring chance with the fumble, and Del Norte capitalizes, seizing momentum before the break. Under three minutes to play, John Johnson rifles one to Grayson Newman, and Newman corrals it in. Ball on the 17-yard line now, and Johnson looking to his right and comes back with a screen pass to Anthony Morgan, who decides to do the rest. Morgan turns up field, cutting inside, putting Del Norte up 21-7 at the break. The Knights fired up in the second half. Del Norte looking to put more points on the board with under seven minutes to play. In the third, Johnson throws a pretty ball to Ryan Blocker for the first down and some more. Blocker racing down the sidelines before finally being chased out inside the 20-yard line. Johnson feeling it, rolling to his left, airing it out, and Brandon Trujillo comes down with a touchdown, making it 28-7. Knights, great catch there. With the game in hand for Del Norte, tempers start to flare. Both teams had one player ejected for this little scrum. No further punishment will be handed out. The coaches say the game had good sportsmanship until the altercation in the third quarter. Del Norte goes on to beat Albuquerque High 28-14. And that's a look at your Thursday Rewind. Let's switch gears now and talk about an up-and-coming star who was featured in last week's Thursday Rewind. He's a senior, three-year starting quarterback for the West Mesa Mustangs. Matthew Jaramillo has been shredding defenses in the state of New Mexico. The Mustang signal caller is hoping to do the same on the next level. It's been all hard work ever since the beginning. I've had to work my way up just like everybody else. and. I'm, I'm happy where I'm at now. A, a huge team leader. I mean, obviously by size, and you know he's his good, good work. He has a good work ethic. Uh, just out, just, he's a big presence for us here on campus. This is, means everything to me. I just can't uh, can't imagine being anywhere else besides West Mesa. I'm really glad that I stayed over here, and just can't wait to end it off right. Uh, after high school, go to college, play Division One football. I'm not sure where yet, but definitely play in the next level. Yeah, Q. And that last one? It's going on the left side. I'll tell you, though. Who is it? Blue Twins. Oh, okay. uh, Flex left, cool. 38Z fly. Flex left, 38Z fly. I'm here, I'm here. Ready? Now, stay tuned on where Jaramillo was going to go to college. He had given a verbal commitment to New Mexico skate, State during the summer, but it sounds like his recruiting window is open for business. Van, back to you. Yeah, it does sound that way. Thanks, Lawrence. You know, his team, West Mesa, is one of a few in action tomorrow. The fifth-ranked Mayfield Trojans are also one of the teams with the game on the schedule for Saturday. As we take a look at everybody's playing on Saturday, look at that. Arizona going to New Mexico School for the Deaf. Wow, that should be an interesting battle. Our State is coming into play. The late game of the evening, of course, will be Valley at the Manzano Marnards. That is going to do it for television. New Mexico Football Friday night is still going. You can join us online right now. I'll see you on the web.